This tutorial will get you started with Audacity. The first thing you want to do is download the file, which is all audacityteam.org. There are other sites with it, but we'll use this as an example. If you're from a different country, you can actually use this to change the language actually on this web page. What we want to do is decide which version we need, because if you're a Linux user, Mac user, or a Windows user, there's different flavors. So we're just going to go and grab this file here, which will be for the Windows. As you can see, it opened us up another window with the different versions all together again. Windows, Mac, Linux. So we're actually just going to go for the Windows one. I'm not really fussed about the help files. So we'll go for the smaller one instead of the one that's more than twice the size. Decide to save. Oh, hang on. I just save. There you go at the bottom there. Couldn't be downloaded. Cancel that. Let's try again. There we go. As you can see, it's going to be about four minutes. So I'll just pause the video. Now the file is almost complete. Let's just run it to security scans. Run it anyway because I know this file's fine. Yes, English. As I say, you choose the language you want and click next. Information due to the licensing, etc. Put where you want it installed. Install over the top of the one I've got there at the moment, just so we can. So you want a desktop icon. I, icon, or maybe you don't, whichever, yes or no. I don't actually want one on the desktop. And it's going to install it in that location, which is fine. And it should take a few seconds being such a small file. And click next. Finish, and that will launch it for the first time. I'll just bring these across. First thing you got here is a help window, so you can actually download a quick help manual or the go to the wiki, etc. So that if you haven't got these, you can actually download them, or just go to the wiki or the forum if you have any particular questions. If you don't need this, click the "Don't show this again at startup." You want to set your microphone and speakers to mid-range, so roughly in the middle, and also select how you're going to hear it on the output. So for example, over here it's coming out of the TV, so I can actually set it to the speakers or whichever system you're going to use, and obviously you can choose which microphone you want. And obviously, if you're recording in mono or stereo. Now we've got it set up, we just want to do a sound test. So I'm going to actually speak on this microphone as we're speaking. We're going to record it straight into Audio City. So let's have a look and see how it sounds. Oh. So I want to go over here and just. You find if you go right to the start, it will auto play. But you can. But if you press the start button, it will stop that doing that. So, as I said, it's got the auto play function. With our audio, we'll just normalize it. So I want to select all. Let me go to the effects, normalize it. And we just want to keep that to zero, zero. Well, zero, zero.
Now we can also zoom in and zoom out. You can use the the mouse. Uh, well, it's actually scrolling on this one, um, but or up here, as you can see, I can zoom in. And if there's any distortion in there, let's see if we can find it a bit. There's a little bit of buzzing in there, so what we're going to try and do is find a, a bit in here that's buzzing away, so we can remove it. Oh, let's zoom back out a bit, go back to the beginning. So somewhere about so just this little bit here where it goes flat is where we actually want to take a sample of that, analyze it. Oh, sorry, effect, and we want to take the noise out of there, which is where are we? noise reduction and we'll just take that as a noise profile so basically it's looking at that bit Nick it, it knows it's buzzing it knows that's the bit we want to remove and then once you've done that just do a control A and then go back to effect and then go repeat noise reduction now we'll listen to it again it shouldn't see how the buzzing has gone now the other thing you would have noticed is if we zoom in a bit here. I'm going to go right to the beginning. So we should see, see a bit of flat lining. This bit here, that's because we removed that hissing sound. Now the next thing is if we save it, we want to go for export. It's not actually save, it's export. So we export the audio, and you can do it as MP3, whatever format works for you. Be aware, you need to look at what formats you're working with in other software. If you're, say, uploading to YouTube or whatever, double check whether they want it in WAV format or MP3. Or if you're doing it in a video editor, check which format the video editor understands, because sometimes it doesn't really understand what you're adding if you put the wrong format in. We're going to go with MP3 today. It's going to go with standard and we're just going to call this the test file and save it to the desktop. And then you can put in your information. This is You don't have to fill this in but sometimes it's worth doing it for cataloging if you're doing some, say you're doing some official data that needs recording. Uh, for example, if you, with us, we use this a lot in call centers. So we could actually put the person who actually is speaking on there, the day, year, etc., so that we've got a, a recording of what was said. You know, for example, any comments, did they say something they shouldn't have done? Then we put that as a log and then we'll, we'll pass it back to the agents. And you just save it, and that's it. Thanks for watching.